millions of people are running to escape Syria and other parts of the Middle East as the refugee crisis continues to grow in Europe. And now the focus is shifting to the United States. Last year, Governor Terry Branstad spoke out against the idea of immigrant children from Central America being brought to Iowa. But tonight, we know this state could have a role providing safety and shelter to those running for their lives from Syria. With more than 10,000 Syrian refugees expected in the United States tonight, Lieutenant Governor Kim Reynolds says it's possible Iowa will once again step up to help. Iowa, I think, is known for being welcoming for refugees. Former Governor Robert Ray was the first in the country to resettle families who would have been killed had they stayed in Vietnam. They arrived with nothing to become everything, from doctors to business owners. We didn't do it for any praise or any uh, monuments or uh, name on anything at the time. We did it to save lives. My father told me how they had to leave everything behind, their dogs, their house, everything. Elizabeth Bacom cherishes the 1975 picture of her father's family coming from Thai Dam, part of what is now Vietnam. She says he worked 60 hours a week in Iowa to make her life better. And as she studies hard for physical therapy, she hopes her family has made Iowa a little better, too. I think the more open we are to each other, the more we have to build success. You cannot build a country without hard workers, without the same mutual respect or without um, having the same dream or aspirations. They use tanks, they use guns. This summer, members of the Bosnian community in Waterloo and Cedar Falls remembered the anniversary of the brutal genocide that brought them to Iowa. It's a close-knit culture of hard workers, engineers, and even a congressional candidate, all thankful to be in Iowa. We know we can't change the past, but we can have better future. Elizabeth and others saying they're very thankful to be here. Iowa leaders say they are very much aware of the concerns over Syrian refugees, overwhelming resources, and even posing a security risk. They say accepting refugees in Iowa would depend on assurances and help from the State Department.